What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are taking a look at the newest movie in the Indiana Jones franchise. They have rebooted the franchise to make a fifth Indiana Jones movie called Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I saw this advertised on buses, advertised on TikTok, YouTube, pretty much everywhere. They were pushing for this so hard and it flopped so hard. But today we are going to be reviewing it as I watched it pretty recently after skipping it when it actually came out in 2023. So I'm going back, going over all the 2023 movies that I missed out on at the start of 2024, ready for the new onslaught of movies for 2024, which I will watch this year when they come out. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. We're going to see what Google says because we always got to prove Google a little bit wrong. And just basically see the audience score as well. Because we like that here on the channel. So let's get into the Google part of the video. And on Google, when you search for the movie, it comes up with this. And it has a 6 out of 10 on IMDb, which is not that bad. But, Daredevil Archaeologist, Indiana Jones, races against time to retrieve a legendary dial that can change the course of history. Accompanied by his goddaughter... He soon finds himself squandering off against Jugen Volder, a former Nazi who works for the NASA, N-A-S-A. So how this movie starts is Indiana Jones is having a flashback of him in Nazi Germany as a spy, taking on Hitler and basically getting caught, almost being hung gets on a train to try and steal these artifacts back from Germany to take them back to the USA. He then wakes up an old man in his chair in his apartment. He goes to work and gets his day off. He's retiring. This is his final lecture. So he starts going home, but he hits the bar on the way home because he's retiring. And his goddaughter appears, asking about the artifact which drove her dad crazy. And we get her stealing it. The, obviously, the German uh, followed them and is tracking them down and wants to steal it from her, but her goddaughter got away. They try and kidnap Indiana Jones. He then escapes riding a horse, destroying the entirety of the, mo the Moon Day Parade. We have him going back to meet an old friend who taxi drives him to the airport where he goes to... Egypt, I think, to find his goddaughter, who is doing, like, a trade deal, and, you know, they escape with the German taking the artifact, or part of the dial. We then have them explain the story of the dad to the daughter, saying that he promised to destroy it when he didn't, and he lied. There's a new kid here, which is very annoying, and he's, like, a little pickpocket. He's just, like, so annoying in this show, in this movie, or whatever. They then go to... Uh, Greece, I think, to get with a, like, a sailor, which he remembers, which is Puss in Boots. So they go out to the ocean with Puss in Boots to go and find the other part of the dial in the ocean. And when they get it, it's just a map to the next one, which they then get stopped by the Germans, and they tell the Germans the wrong place, and then they dart off to the right place with the Germans in tow. They then get there, they steal the kid, they kidnap the kid, they then leave the kid and go through the caves, and get to the dial. The Germans catch up with them, put the dial back together, and then they go back to an airport hangar where they fly through a sky portal, because this artifact can make you travel through time. They then go through time, and, magically, they're in, trying to go back to nasty Germany, but they don't. They end up going to... Roman times, where there's a giant war, a giant siege, and Indiana Jones gets shot, the plane comes down and crashes, both of them do, and they escape with the help of Archimedes. Indiana Jones wants to stay there, the goddaughter says, no, you're coming back with us, takes him back, well, actually knocks him out. He then wakes up like a couple of days later, maybe a couple of weeks later, with everyone living in his house, including his ex-wife, who they got divorced with, and she's come back to look after him. And that's where the movie ends. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to start with the CGI of young Indiana Jones. It looked plastic. He looked fake. He was dead behind the eyes. There was no emotion behind those eyes. There was no like real person there. You could tell it was fake CGI. It was very plastic and rubbery. He looked very sweaty the entire time. And 
I just didn't like the CGI. It was very uncomfortable to, like, de-age him. And I feel like de-aging characters is always very uncomfortable and feels very weird. I just don't understand it. And if they can do it with him, they can do it with anyone. And it's scary. They can CGI you into a film. They're going to stop needing actors at some point and they'll just have full CGI movies and we'll have AI writing movies as well. It's just weird. Genuinely, I don't like it. It's not to its full potential yet and it still looks a little choppy. Um, it's very off-putting for the first 20 minutes of the movie. Then continue with the movie. The first hour and a half of the movie, this is like a three-hour long film, is so fucking boring and they take so long to actually get into doing anything. I was laid there, born out of my... I was laid in bed watching this. I was laid there, born out of my fucking mind and I kept scrolling through Instagram on my phone, just kept looking up to check if anything was happening. And no, there wasn't. I enjoyed the first four Indiana Jones movies. I think one of my favorite ones was the one with Mutt Williams in it. And I know that is another hated one. And I'm going to be honest, I don't see why they chose to make another one after the one with Mutt, Mutt Williams was a hated one. I think it was like Legend of the Crystal Skull. With that one being so hated, I don't know why they proceeded to go, you know what, it's been so long, like people will just go and watch this for nostalgia. They were correct, people did go and watch this for nostalgia. But again, they hated it. And it's continuing the trend of sequels and reboots and prequels and continuations of stories. In 2023, all we got was prequel sequels and nothing new except Barbie and Oppenheimer. They were like some of the only two big movies that we got that were completely new and like original. Everything else was like a Captain Marvel sequel, a Guardians of the Galaxy sequel, an Indiana Jones sequel. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a prequel in there as well somewhere. Hunger Games. A Hunger Games prequel. There was literally just sequel after sequel after sequel. The Flash doesn't count. The Flash was technically a sequel to Justice League. So it doesn't really count. Gotta be honest. I'll accept Blue Beetle as a new movie. And I'll accept The Turtles as a new movie. But Spider-Verse was also a sequel. So that falls into the category even though that one was good. But again... It was just so boring and it didn't feel like the original Indiana Jones movies. There was no excitement. It felt like a generic heist movie. I felt like I was watching Uncharted again. It was very similar and very easy to predict. It was the most generic heist movie going with, oh, you get double-crossed. Oh, they're following you. Oh, they chased you. What do you know? You try and double-cross them, but they see right through it. It had all the basic plot lines of a... Like, a, I forgot the movie, a heist movie. And Rick and Morty even said all heist movies are the same in one of them episodes. So I see their point after seeing this movie. There's nothing special. The new characters are pretty forgettable and pretty weak, and if not annoying, at most. I didn't like the inclusion of the goddaughter. I didn't like the inclusion of her little sidekick either. I felt like both of them were very boring and annoying. They just seemed, like, so full of themselves and such, like, pr like... Stuck up pricks, self righteous pricks. I will put them as. And it is literally, I don't know, I just felt so bored and uninterested. I was quite excited to watch this. I was quite interested when they announced they were making a new Indiana Jones movie because it is a franchise that I do like and that I do love. I love playing the Lego games. They even rebooted the Lego line for this movie, but didn't actually make any Lego sets based on this movie. They just made sets based on the other three movies which was again pretty strange but i'm hoping we get more lego indiana jones soon it just it felt like a very quick cash grab and that's what most of the new movies have felt like recently just make a nostalgic movie people will watch it for nostalgia and quickly get our budgets up and they're actually losing money making all these and it's making us lose faith in the companies that produce them i.e. Disney, because that's what's making fucking all of them nowadays, with Star Wars, Marvel, and Indiana Jones now, apparently. All they need left is Lord of the Rings, but Amazon Prime's already got that and is doing a fucking hell of a job with that. So, I, they're rebooting Harry Potter as well. They're rebooting everything, and they're going to probably ruin it, I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen a good reboot in a while, so I don't have high hopes for it. See, I'm getting off topic so much in this video because Indiana Jones has very little to talk about. This new movie, 
there's so little substance to the movie that make it that bit interesting. I feel like after everything Indiana Jones has gone through, the time travel plot line is like way too far fetched. I know he's been through so much before with like arcs and crystal skulls and aliens, but time travel now you're pushing it. An ancient Greek person made a time traveling device. That is bullshit, and I feel like that's way too far fetched. And how has no one else found it sooner? All I'm saying, way too far fetched, and I really didn't enjoy it. It was just felt too far fetched and too basic to be a good movie, and it was just a regular heist movie. There was nothing to it. It's just like the most basic generic movie like out there so with that i am going to give it a four out of ten am i happy that i watched it yeah at least i watched it i'm glad i watched it at least now i can say i watched it but am i going to watch it again no probably not i will never watch this movie again i've watched it once never again it, it wasn't that excellent it was very very basic and without further ado i hope you all enjoyed this youtube video i'll see you all in the next one have a nice day and goodbye stay home to stay safe and if you do want me to review any other movies, anime, TV shows, please do leave them down in the comments below with suggestions, and I'll watch them as soon as possible. Hopefully the next video that I do do, <laughs> I said do do, should be The Hunger Games and The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Yes, it is The Hunger Games prequel we're watching next, so get excited! Alright, bye.